Cage, of course, a 17-man squad yeah. has been named for the Ashes. A bit more than we thought. Any surprises in the squad for well, you? Well, there are no surprises. Every base has been covered uh, by the selectors, but I'm, I'm amazed that uh, the Cricket Australia decided the uh, the squad be named today. We've got some important games coming up next weekend. We're still what ten days away from the first test. I would have thought they would have waited, but having said that, look, no surprises. The selectors have uh, have covered every base, but the interesting part now is uh, how will the final 11 shape up? That's the interesting part. We, we look at the quicks and we've got Hilfenhausen and Ryan Harris both being rested this weekend. That's got to be a concern. We've got Bollinger coming back from injury. Uh, he'll, he'll play in, in the Shield game this weekend. So what's going to be the makeup of the quicks? Uh, you, you, you look at the batting. If Kawaja and Ferguson both make runs, North and Hussey miss out. Hey, who will, where will they go? I, I think the selectors will play safe the first test match. I think... Hussey and North will both play, uh, and then if things don't unfold as the selectors would like, then there'll be a few changes. Cages are so different. 89 to 2005, we own the urn. The, the Poms couldn't yep. even get their hands anywhere nah. near it. Fast forward mm. five years, yep. and suddenly the Aussies look like they can't get their hands on the urn. Of course, we lost at Lords. Yep. The media out here have just been unbelievable they've in been, the way that they've attacked. They've been scathing, to be quite frank. We've been as bad, or not where well, we're in the media, but some sections of the media have been equally as bad as the English media have been Crazy. at any time on their team. We haven't bowled a ball yet. Well, exactly right. They've been harsh on both Michael Clark and Ricky Ponning. That's and the fact that uh, they've made mention that it's uh, allegedly, according to some parts of the media, there's dissent in the camp, which is crap. How would they know? They're not in the change rooms, and unless you're in the change rooms, you don't know. You, you can't you can't be definite about it. But look, hey, England haven't won a series here since 1986 on our soil. That's the big plus. And this first test match at the Gabba, in fact, the first session of the first day's play is going to be so, so vile. The side that takes the initiative, I think, uh, uh, hey, it's got its head in front already. This is this is a this is a huge test match uh, in 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 keeping with with the with the series because if Australia lose in Brisbane, they've then got to win the two of the next four, which is a huge ask. But if Australia win, then England, hey, she's on. All right, coach, you've said all along you don't think that the English lineup have got enough to take 20 wickets. Yeah. Do you think the Australian side has? Well, that's that's that, that's the point I'm making, and, and and you can add to that which spinner are they going to go with? They've named uh, uh, Doherty, they've named Smith, they've named Horrocks. Now, Horrocks is not bowling anywhere near as well as he can. Will they go with with Horrocks because he's the experienced campaigner? Um, and uh, look, <laughs> whichever way you look at the series, it could go either way, General. But just the fact that it's played in Australia. In our conditions, I just think that uh, the Aussies might have their nose in front. Would you put Smith in ahead of Horace? Nah. Ian Chappell said he would, Cage. He thinks he can get you one or two wickets yeah. and innings, and he thinks that's enough to put him in. Well, I respect what Ian Chappell has to say. He's a former great captain, but I just don't think uh, Steve Smith is quite there yet. I, the, look, the, the, there's no doubt down the track he's going to be a very good cricketer, both with the bat and the ball, but I just don't know whether the time's right to, uh, to bloody him at the moment. Interesting. All right, it's going to be an interesting My series, word. Cage, no doubt about it, but I think you're right. The Gabba is the one that's going to decide well, now. No Ryan question. Harris took a nine for. Yeah. We were talking about it before we came up. He has got that chronic knee injury. You mentioned before he's not going to play. No. Would you take a risk in the first one at the I, Gabba? I, I don't reckon they can now. Look, Look, I had him in um, early, but learning today that he's got a chronic knee injury, which we knew about, but the fact that it's uh, it's blown up and, and he won't play at the weekend, that's or too big Australia, a risk. Right? Yep. Or, or for Australia, right? that's too big a risk. Uh, I, I don't think Australia could risk mm. that with, with, with a player uh, that, that's got a chronic knee, and he's not playing this weekend. All right, well, Mitchell Johnson played on the weekend, bowled 11 oh, wides, man. Cage. Well, so is that a bigger risk than Ryan well, Harris? Well, no, no well, well, at least he's fit. He, he, uh, the, the plus for Mitchell Johnson, and I, I'm with you, he's not bowling well, but the plus for Mitchell Johnson is 100% fit. Now, Ryan Harris is not. Hilfen Harris, and they're resting him too, so there's another query. Well, there's a question mark over Clark. He struggled with his back on the weekend, yeah, with his back. I think he'll come up, Clark. Yeah, that's, you know, it's... Uh, it's it's not a good sign, but the fact that he's a bat, he, he's not a quick, so uh, he'll come. So, and the fact is that he got a hundred. I reckon Australia's a sly dog and cage. I think they're just putting all these things well, out there. They're right. going to turn up with a great team for the first well, one. I hope and you're just right. Wipe them at the gather. I hope you're right. <laughs> so do I. I'll, I'll be the first man to applaud them. Because they have copped a bagging, that's for sure. Yeah, undeservedly so. Exactly. I don't know that you can bag a team cage until they've played the series. Well, look, you? I don't know that you need to bag them anyway. But at least once the series has been played, if they lost. 
but we've got a lot of people got stuck in them before they played a game. Well, exactly, and we've looked, and, and they're basing their criticism on the bloody one-day games that they, they lost against uh, Sri Lanka and India. OK, you, you, you're an Australian cricket team, you don't want to lose them, but if you cast your mind back to the two tests, we, we came within a, a bee's knee of winning the first test match. OK, we didn't win, but India, in India, are the number one nation in the world. So, hey, not all doom and gloom. All right, let's have some good news, Coach. South Australian Sporting Hall of Fame, of course, on this weekend. Yes. A sellout. Sellout cannot fantastic. get a ticket, which is great for South Australia. Well, it is, and it, I think it's fantastic that uh, that South Australia are going to recognise performances like yourself and other great uh, uh, athletes and, and performances over the year. And I think wh whoever's baby it is, I think it's a fantastic idea for it to be sellout. It's brilliant, and we're all we need now is a, is, is a nice little area somewhere on North Terrace, as Rob Gerard said, where by people like yourself and yep, the other be, Hall of Famers are recognised. That would be magnificent. Sensational. So about time we did it for the exactly South Australian right. Coaches. Yeah. It appears that if we don't push our own wheelbarrow, nobody no else, else is going exactly to. Right. Callum Ferguson in Kawaja out. That's what I'm picking, Coach. Well, yeah, look, if, if Fergie gets runs <clears throat> at the weekend and, and Hussey and North miss, hey, he's a dead set chance, no question. It comes, be, it comes down to the two games being played this weekend. A lot of interest. Oh, I think we've got to push the South Aussies oh, more, Coach. Bloody hope. So I'm relying on you to get on the bike. Greg, can you give Greg Chappell a call and put Fergie in? I'll speak to Chappell on, right. on the side. Good. He's a good South Australian. Okay.